What up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So the other day I did an Instagram poll asking you guys what you wanted to see from me in terms of future YouTube videos. And here I freaking am in the gym because I've got a ton of requests for my split routine. I have been taking my exercise regimen super seriously lately. I've been kind of documenting it on Instagram. So I think that's where a lot of you guys were like, okay, we want to know Ash, like what the frig are you doing? We want to know. I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys my current summer goals. I've been taking them so freaking seriously. You don't even know, girl. I'm finally able to stick to an actual split routine and it feels so good because if you guys been keeping up, we actually got the remainder of our gym equipment. Thank goodness. Gym tour coming soon. So it makes it a lot easier for me to train consistently. And we all know that in order to see gains, you gotta be consistent. There's no getting around that, period. So let's go ahead and get into it. Bay's here to assist me. Say hi, Bay. Everybody wants to see you. They always do. Hi, Bay. <laughs> That's your name. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hop into this video. If you're not already, definitely hit that subscribe button. Loads of videos like this, many more training videos to come. Just warning you. <laughs> Why? Because together we got this. Okay guys, so let's hop into my split routine first and foremost. So what I like to do is start off with a wide stance. Get your body nice and loosened up and just slowly make your way down. Uh oh. Okay. Split routine 101. You're just gonna slow this. and steady it, all right? Just slow. This that gymnastic. Oh, ah, ow. Oh. oh, when it gets to the here. I haven't done this in a while. Damn girl, that cake is on bakery oh. though. I ain't the gymnast I used to be. And there you have it, folks. Oh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> <laughs> no, on a serious note, I did want to talk about my outfit because I might get some questions. Today we are rocking the Gymshark Hyper Amplify shorts with their Hyper Amplify top matching tank top that I tucked underneath because you know how I do, girl. You already know. It's what I'm all about. What about that sports bra, though? Oh, underneath? The sports bra is the most important part, girl. We got the crushed lime training rushed in case I feel sexy later and want to take off the tank top. Uh, she knows she will. Mm. Rushed! Guys, every single clip that you're going to see in today's video, every outfit is Gymshark. Are you surprised? <laughs> The outfit I'm wearing today, Gymshark. Guys, I think it's super important to structure your split routine around what your goals are. So for example, for me, my summer goals, goals in general, I mean, it's gonna go past the summer, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but right now, my main goals are to build lean muscle mass. That's kind of always been my goal. Didn't really get to like go far with that because was, I was very hot and cold with the gym, with COVID, with everything going on. But again, now that we got our equipment, it's a lot easier now that we have actual weight. I'm training for hypertrophy. Specifically, I wanna make this very clear, I'm specifically trying to gain lean muscle mass in my legs. This has always been my problem area. This is the hardest area for me to build mass or lean muscle in general. I don't think I've ever had a point in time where I had muscle separation in my legs. <laughs> But my upper body has always kind of like held a little bit of that muscular look to it. I've always kind of had like bigger arms. Even as a little girl doing gymnastics, I've always had comments like, dang, your arms, like, they're big. <laughs> it definitely goes without say that 50% of reaching your goals is also diet, not just exercise. So if you guys want to see a diet video, let me know. Comment down below. Oh yeah. Let me show you guys exactly where I'm looking to target and build. So right now I'm like quad obsessed. <laughs> I really wanna get some muscle separation going in my quads. I would like to lose a little bit of weight and just kind of tone up around my inner thigh area. Absolutely my hamstrings as well. Like I am trying to just tone up this entire lower body, work on those hip thrusts. I'm trying to build mass in the glutes as well. Just overall have a little more lean bulk here while still maintaining an overall leaner physique. I have always had major insecurities when it comes to my legs. That is where I carry my weight, my jiggle if you may. <laughs> Even younger Ash always had that insecurity with her legs. So this is why I'm very like, you know what? I'm starting this new chapter. I am not messing around. If you are somebody starting a new chapter too, let's do this together. Let's get those gains. Let's get that health in check. We're not here to fuck around. So basically what a split routine is, is how you divvy up your workouts each day of the week. I learned a lot about this when I was getting my NASM certification. 
it's really crucial if you're somebody who has specific goals. So for me, if I wanna gain lean muscle mass in my legs, my split routine has to coordinate with that. Some people, for example, like to do back on one day, like just a specific pull day. Another one will be chest and triceps, and then another day will just be quads and hammies and things like that. Mine's a little more straightforward than that because I'm trying to focus on compound movements and focus on my legs. And also keep in mind, split routines are also designed to help you out with what kind of time you have to work out. So for example, I can break it up into more of a simpler format because I have more time during each day to work out. I would say I roughly average an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half of working out a day. But somebody who has maybe just a half hour a day to work out will just specifically focus on chest. It really does depend on your goals and how much time you have to complete those goals. So guys, simple and straightforward. My split routine is Monday, leg day, Tuesday, full upper body day. Wednesday, back to smashing those legs. Thursday, back to upper body, baby. Friday, legs again. Saturday, actually, is slowly becoming my favorite, believe it or not. Cardio and freaking core. I just focus on loads of cardio, shedding that fat, and working on that damn core. <laughs> Sunday's my active rest day. I might watch Netflix, or I might go for a walk. If I'm feeling up for it, I might go on the stationary bike low resistance. I don't know. Sunday's an anything goes kind of day, depending on how my body feels. Before every single workout, doesn't matter what I'm training, I always do a 10 minute incline walk on the treadmill for a warm up, followed by 10 minutes of mobility training and activation. And I end each of my workouts with about a 10 minute ab circuit, nothing crazy. I kind of go with the flow with that one, I'm not gonna lie, I just gotta do whatever I'm feeling. <laughs> and a five minute little cool down and stretch before I leave. I have it broken up where Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating days, I blast my legs. I'm focusing solely on compound movements followed by isolations afterwards. So my Monday, Wednesday, Friday routine will look something like a 10 minute incline warm up on the treadmill followed by five to 10 minutes of mobility and activation training just to warm up those muscles and not pull your freaking glutes, girl. I've done that so many times, it sucks. So compound movements such as squatting, deadlifting, hip thrusts, especially for those glute gains, straight leg deadlifts, front loaded squats, <laughs> front loaded squats. I absolutely hate them, but damn it if they don't do the damn thing, Bulgarian split squats. So things like that. Then I'll move on to a shorter little segment of isolation exercises, such as cable machine donkey kicks or leg extensions, hamstring curls. So guys, as you can see, Legs being my focus, that is exactly why I'm training them more than anything throughout the week. Three days a week, all right? I never used to, which is why I never got the results that I wanted. I also never challenged myself in the way that I'm challenging myself now, monitoring my weight, slowly increasing my weight. I don't typically get crazy sore, so I can sustain three days a week. But if I happen to feel ultra sore in an area of my body, for example, my quads, I won't work my quads on leg day. I'll do my deadlifts instead, work hamstrings, I'll work glutes. I'll always work around it. I'll never push myself when I'm feeling sore because your muscles need time to recover. For my upper body days, two days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm working everything from the belly up, like all of upper body, that's including back. So pull day, I'm doing arms, shoulders, buys, tries, like you name it. Chest included, all right? Chesticles. Yeah, you, you can't leave out the chesticles. Sorry, ladies, all right? You want perky boobies? Don't ignore the chest workouts, I'm telling you. I'm able to effectively work my entire upper body because I don't have a time constraint. So this is what works for me. Two days a week, I'm still incorporating a lot of upper body work during my leg days. All these compound movements are still shredding up my upper body without me actually realizing it. Lots of straight leg deadlifts, you're still stabilizing your upper body. Your shoulders, your back, they're all still being engaged and working while you're doing leg day deadlifts and things like that. For my upper body days, I do shoot for three to four exercises per body part. This way I ensure that I'm targeting everything and I'm not leaving anything out because upper body day, all in one day, that's a lot. <laughs> so I have three to four exercises for each part that I'm working so I could focalize, 
hit those isolations and really maximize on upper body days. So for Saturdays, cardio and core, I actually only do about an hour's worth of working out. I'll do a half hour of straight cardio and I'm talking, it's pretty, pretty intense. I'm either gonna be running or jogging, doing straight incline or having decent resistance on my spinning bike. That I'm kind of flexible with, you know, treadmill or spinner bike, which one, maybe 15 minutes each. But either way, I make sure I get my half hour in. Just my, my way of polishing up my body after the work week. Then working core, which mind you, that is your entire core here. So that's also lower back, your entire ab section. That is made for my my back extension machine is literally made for that. I do most of my core work on that machine. The fact that there's a killer range of motion on that machine, there's no ground restricting you. I do love my ground workouts. Don't get it twisted here. But I specifically love like hanging abs, things where you have better range of motion. You're just able to stretch and contract your core better, so things like a yoga ball, that's where I get really intense with my core. So for the 10 minutes throughout the week after my workouts where I do a little ab circuit, that's usually more floor oriented, not so intense, just kind of a little basic tone up of each part of my abs, but the core on the weekends is where I am all about just shredding and feeling myself. I absolutely love combining cardio and core because for some reason, I don't know if it's just like a mental thing, but when I'm sweating my balls off and I'm shredding core, I feel like the biggest beast in the whole world. I'm obsessed. So guys, it does not matter if I'm training upper body, lower body, if I'm doing compound movements or isolation movements, I always aim for three to five sets at 12 to 15 reps. According to NASM and what I've learned, <laughs> that is the perfect range for hypertrophy. I'm gonna be doing this routine for six weeks. Each week, I'm gonna be upping the weight a little bit. So that is going to be how I'm progressively overloading. After that six week mark is when I'm gonna be doing a physique update. I can't freaking wait, stay tuned for that. Please keep in mind if you're doing something similar or starting your own journey, always document before you start. I never used to do that. I freaking regret it so badly. That's like my main regret in fitness is I have no before pictures or before uh, physique updates where I'm just showcasing my freaking physique. Always remember to do that so you can see how far you've come, believe it. So yeah, I already did that. I'm really excited for the six week mark. Hopefully we see some serious strides. I already feel it after a couple weeks. I'm already starting to see a difference in my body and it's really exciting. I'm in serious beast mode. So I hope you guys join me. Like keep up with me, keep up with Instagram stories. Definitely stay tuned because I'm gonna have a ton of gym oriented content coming your way. So guys, comment down below. Do you have a split routine? If so, what is it? Why are you training the way you train? If not, what's your favorite exercise? What do you like to train best? I'm not gonna lie, it's upper body for me. I hate compounds, but I love it at the same time because the results are insane. Undeniable. <laughs> They're undeniable, for real. And yeah, guys, like I said before, diet has a huge part in this as well, like a, plays a big role. So if you'd like to see a little bit of what I'm cooking in the kitchen, <laughs> let me know, comment that down below, and uh, I'll see what I can whip up. So if you guys stay till the end, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I hope this video helped you in some way. If you're starting your own journey or you got some goals that you got going on, girl or guy, we are in this together, baby. All right, let's motivate each other. Let's keep each other accountable because we are truly in this together. Because together we got this, okay? I mean that. I mean that. <laughs> As always, thank you guys so much for watching. It is Saturday right now, so what does that mean? I'm shredding cardio in core today. I call the treadmill. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, we're gonna have to get another treadmill. Thank you all so much. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you in our next video. Bye.